The flowers cannot sleep. The season called summer is passing. It ornaments the morning with gold lace, a fond farewell. We would not have it so, but ever, ever be. A lovely breeze pushes into us the flavors of the trees. A hawk observes the ripening of day. We live each season in its passing, breathe the air, drink the wine, taste the fruit, and love a fruit of all seasons. The flowers were the promise of what was to be, the deeds of men, the fruits of men, and of blossoming to thee. Small seeds of faith grow fruits of happiness, and where is the fruit? It is out far upon the limb, precariously sought, our fruits come down to us as blessings in unlimited harvest. The cherubim and seraphim are heavy with your yield and bring down to us fruits of the Spirit. Love is the fruit of all seasons, and we are a man of all seasons. The soul has a virginity and must a little bleed before she bears fruit. We heard in the night an angel speak, and she said as to Mary, Hail, full of grace. Yet we are fruit which fell to the ground, rotting. The rescuing God reaps all which are his, some far gone, some ripe to harvest. Who can fear too many flowers, each to crown the season, too many stars, though each in heaven shall roll? Too much love, too much you. There is no season for these. Your thoughts are borne inward unto souls afar, Never to any saying, au revoir. Stars are flowers which said goodbye to earth and spend their latter years shining through the night to light the gardens of the dormant earth. What strength is there in flowers or in any man of earth? Only that our fragrance comes from a higher place, seeping, seeping beauty through the night and through the day. We suppose that God lives very high but see you not above the pines or deep in mines, nor in their gold. Your glory shines in green contentment and in serenity of blue. We suppose that in the night the flowers cannot sleep. They walk to us to kiss upon our dreams. Through heaven and earth your voice and will walk freely, kissing to death, kissing to life the echelons of men who will flower and come up to you. The universe itself has inward voices planted by your angels and ever send up Alleluia and Amen. The first time ever we saw your face, the sun rose in your eyes, the moon and stars were gifts you gave, an endless sky spoke of your forever love. Can we kiss the Lord? Yes, and you, us. We tremble before you like a captive bird yet we are glad to be captive. You command a law which sets us free. Your own joy fills the hearts of men and all about. It will last until the end of time and into all the unknown which follows. The first time ever I saw your face, your face, your face, your face.